Hey, 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 boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Cowboy Big B. Playing a little Medieval Kingdoms Total War 1212 AD, which is a mod for Attila. Played a little bit the other day. It is quite fun, but it's also kind of challenging. A little bit more challenging than the normal just Medieval Total War game. So, start a new one. Grand campaign. Multiplayer is not in yet, but they will be adding that. Start. First off, look at everybody you can choose from. I mean, it is insane how many nations you can choose from. Also, while you're looking at this, there's a new thing, population. So, beware of that. That invites you in the booty. Okay. Shaw. Let's see, who do we want to be? Huh, I can give up hungry. I wouldn't be a bad one. Waltz. Ah, here we go. Constantinople, ooh, ooh. Imperium Romania. But ah, here we go, here we go. So this one's kind of a mid a clash between the uh, eastern and the western, because they're true Basilia of the Romans, and they're kind of. They're a Christian group. They're a little bit bigger than Constantinople, and they start a war with Constantinople. So, we can uh, expand quite fast with these guys. So, let's roll out. Let's see what kind of damage we can do with them. Total War Attila. I like it how they even spent time on changing the artwork, you know. Some mods you grab, they don't even change loading screens and stuff like that. They just go straight into the, the game itself. I like it, I like it. Here we go. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Mod creators, thank you for spending time on this mod for us. Weariness. Knowing how far people can be pushed. Wars are significant. Okay. Here we go. Let's do this. So I'll start with two armies. I'm going to start at war, like I said, with Constantinople. This one, I'm guessing, because we, like I said, that little screen said, okay, we're already at war. So these guys are already hurt. But let's go for tech real fast. What we got here? For battle. Okay, so this be my main army. At your command. We just want to take Constantinople, even though it's kind of beat up a little bit. Scrap. Come, Excuse. fight with us. It is a great and glorious thing to okay, serve your people. Actually, we oh, these are javelin guys. Let's get rid of one of these. Hire another one of these. Soldiering. It's ah. a good life. Mm. There we go. Got plenty of infantry. Let's do some crossbow. Alright. So build here. Uh, increase the ports. Now that's one thing that I kind of wish they wouldn't have kept from Attila, is I hate it how everything you build 
pretty much gives you negative public order. <laughs> like, I mean, look at this. You build a port and you get negative two public order and it increases your squalor. For what, a little bit of food? Jumps your public order up to plus seven. But it costs a thousand a turn. Oh, okay. One thing I almost forgot is we actually have little places down here as well. So what I think, look at the cost range. Man, they have like played with that big time. Okay. Commander. Let's grab a few troops here. So these guys have some good archers. So. Sign up, lads, for a good and glorious life. This to here. Food consumption, of course. Why wouldn't you take our food? But then I can always increase that as well. Buildings and fertility. Ah, I don't know what I want to do first. That's probably this one. It's a pretty good one. Fertility level. Fertility level. That's a good one, though. Wealth, not very much. That one's got the wealth. This one. Thousand turn up. All right, and another thing I did see was on this. One. Oh wait, oh, my bad, my bad. Your governors you have to sign governors to everywhere. We're all taught to do a lot. <laughs> all right, well let's get some peace actions going on. Trade. Let's see if we trade with you guys. We offer you honest welcome. Speak, friend, and hopefully later we will. Okay, I don't want to trade with you anyways. On behalf of our people, welcome. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, I got a lot of trade routes. Man, I should be like rolling in cash. In the name of the state, Probably welcome. That. Yellow. In the name of the state, welcome. Speak. Welcome, honored emissary. Speak. There we go. All right, let's boost him a trade. There we go. And technology's rolling. Trade, finance, decisions, restore Byzantine Empire. Okie dokie. When you selected a faction, you also chose a family or party to represent within its political system. Your faction leader is the head of the party you chose. The influence of each party member affects its overall power. 
Winning battles as a general and completing construction projects as a governor may increase influence. The popularity of your party is the sum total of its members' influence versus that of the opposing party. Now, like I was saying on this one, they all, every province has its own uh, governor. Instead of before, hey brother, what's up? Hard duty. Oh man, chilling and killing. Playing <laughs> a little Total War Attila. Yeah, you play the same game than uh, Hell Jumper. You play the same. Yeah, yeah, Hell Jumper's playing it too. They just came out with this cool little mod. And it, uh, 12. Kingdoms 12, uh, 12, 12. Okay. And it, uh, let me check that. Yeah, dude. It's uh, really cool. It, it starts off in the, you know, 12, 12 AD. And so it's like early medieval time and so far so good. I really enjoyed it. Take it a little bit more in depth than Attila did. Ready for fun. orders. At your command. What are you playing? I go play some War Thunder with my booty. Yeah, I came in there and trying then... to talk to y'all, but y'all are all ignoring me. No love. <laughs> hey, no, I was poking. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, I was like, guys, guys, guys. Yeah, I was gonna come play some War Thunder. AFK. Uh, I was gonna come play some War Thunder with y'all. Cause. Joker had to download the game. How far are you? Joker doesn't have War Thunder? What? He does, but he, he had some... 15. He was a sinner and he had uninstalled it? Is that what you're saying? Yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, you sinner. Big B. B Ron from the Yukon. Why'd you suck so bad in Call of Duty last, yes, last night? I mean, how many heroes? Are you going to play again? How many heroes? I was, I was raping that guy. <laughs> Should have carried me too. God, back in the day, you used to carry I can't like. Carry people in that game. You used to carry like three v three. You used to carry me and Bob. Bob never played that game. <laughs> I know. We tried to get him to do it. Ooh, all my guys get married. Oh, we hunger sweet. for battle. Commander. Turn. This will be a fast one. You gonna play some War Thunder with this B Ron? Once Joker gets his installed, I think there's gonna be like three or four of us. Like a full squad. Did y'all all leave the channel? Am I talking to myself again? No, no, we are there. <laughs> Wait, did they all But you talking to Byron, so. <laughs> yeah. Biron from the Yukon. Let us lay siege to Constantinople. My army is ready. Destroy. You have selected a character belonging to another faction that you cannot control. Please select one of your own to learn more about their abilities. Besieging the settlement! Besieging the settlement. Commander. At your command. Right, you have further orders? Hmm. Hey guys, I'm back. Battle. There he is. Guess who's back? Back again. Shady's back. Tell a friend. <laughs> <laughs> is that too much? Is that too much? I see worse. Hmm. These guys kind of suck. You can play without me the time I finish the, the, the download. I think everybody's kind of doing stuff, so I mean, you're good, bro. I didn't hear who's that one. Yeah, okay. To victory! Coming for you, Constantinople. Your city will be mine. 
We all look forward to seeing your leaders strangled very, very slowly during the triumphal celebrations. Well, Screw you too, buddy. An offer of peace from us should ah. not be spurned. Now, what say you? Uh, no. I want your city and your land. Ooh, new crusade. Commander. For God himself! Okay. None will escape! Ready for punch? orders. Okay, I stopped with my heavy fight on them. Back. To victory! Laying siege I to the you. settlement! You don't like this, um, you have four ten. Set up a blockade! For you. Here we go. Slaughter. Fleet reporting! Okay. Ready for battle. Restore the Byzantine Empire. Let them cower like kennel dogs. We take this settlement. Laying siege to the settlement. We hunger for battle. God, really? It costs that much to repair? It's probably crazy. Big B, we gonna play more Battlefield? I got my control. No, you got your controller. Nice. Big falling now. After this hockey game, let's play Battlefield. I'm playing War Thunder with the guys. For God himself. There's no one in here. Yeah, they were all in here earlier. Yeah. Should play some War Thunder with us. Nah. There's gonna be a bunch of us. No. We're all playing War Thunder. Why are you talking like that? It's gonna be fun. <laughs> At your command, oh, that one army went. Battlefield 5 to like 3 o'clock in the morning, Byron. You just AFK this. Did you get tired and fall asleep or something? B Rob from the Yukon. So you afk me again. God. He goes to. <laughs> he does ghost. He's good at that. See, they're teching me. Hmm. Forced here. 
find some troops. Mm -hmm. Your command. Warriors of Christ. Warriors of Christ. Come to Dentis. Heaven can wait. At your service. The King has spoken. Take matter. Make the best use of your missile units by attacking the rear or right-hand side of their targets, away from their shields and armor. Once the enemy is wavering, switching to fire or whistling arrows could break their morale entirely, causing them to rout from the field. Excubitores! Under attack! Our hidden units have been discovered!
have returned to the battle. They're not done yet! down their weapons and are fleeing! Enemy units have rallied and returned to the battle! Hold back! 
that, bro? strategy in this fight. You actually have to like run it, run it. plan your towers and try to get behind them. some decent damage. Kingdom 1212 AD mod. It's pretty fun so far. 
We hunger for Ooh. battle. Two We're playing more than a big B. Yeah. My Maple Leafs won. Oh, congrats. Command. Occupy. That's nice when I can Commander. do that. You get like double XP. It's like hell's yeah. Execute deserters. Oh, nice. Ready for orders. Put it into them running away, little chickens. I thought I repaired all this. Oh. I don't have the same height. What does this one do? Plus 25 from agriculture. Look for fertility. It's this one, yeah. Research. Oh, okay. Can work. Really? I gotta change my capital? That sucks. Okay. I don't have enough money for that. We hunger right, for battle! Flesh. Governor. There we go. Right. So every time you conquer a province in this one, you actually get to assign governor. Governor of Constantinople. Oh, I already have the maximum number of governors. Oh, it sucks. It doesn't like that. Alright, I'll end this turn, B Ron, and we will game it up. That is the one thing they did do with Total War 2 is they made it a little bit, they went back to a little simpler on like providences and the way things are affected. Like in Attila, man, they just 
loaded you up. You have to worry about food and all kinds of crazy stuff. Cree -cree. Hold a crusade for Cairo, calling upon all righteous Catholics to go across. We must march on Cairo. Egypt will provide for a staging ground to retake the rest of the Holy Lands for Christianity. Kind of close to the Holy Lands. I want to take Jerusalem back, Byron. Okay. I may do this and I may not do this. Seven good. Why can't I say? Okay, that's good. Commander. That's great movement though. This list shows events in the order they occurred. It can be sorted by their names. Click on one to learn more about it. When an important event occurs, it will open or... There we go, okay. Byzantines. Alright, thanks for watching, boys and girls. Till next time, this is Cowboy Bigby.